We're here in a bar on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Crazy story because this whole thing started with one of the, the bar owners went away to try to find himself and, and find God or who God was and Jesus showed up to the bar owner and he said, it's me Jesus, I'm real, I'm real, I'm who you've been searching for. And the bar owner told Jesus, he said, Lord, I'll give up everything to, to follow you and I, I'll give up my bar. And Jesus told him, don't give up the bar because I have need of it. And so we got brought in here on a whim. The Lord spoke to those who were involved with the bar to bring us in and we come and do a worship night, me and my team. and. We came and we quickly realized this was more than just uh, a nice worship night, that Jesus had just invaded a bar. Jesus is king of the city, yeah. Jesus is king of the holy, Jesus is king. You know, for years now, we've been dreaming about doing a new record. And one of the things I had told my team and, and talked to my family about, I said, I want to do a live worship record in a bar. I'd, I'd been dreaming about this for years, actually, all the way back to probably 2016. And I also had said, I really wanna record a live worship record um, in a place of revival, you know, where God was moving in a strong and peculiar and powerful way. And so we had tried to do that throughout the years, but nothing ever clicked. It just kept getting stopped up. Little did I know that the Lord was gonna give me both of the things that I really had dreamed of for this new sound that was coming out of me, and it was revival in a bar. You know, we've seen prophetic worship music, spontaneous music is erupting out of the church, and now, for the first time, we're seeing in a true move of God happening out of a bar on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, a wild prophetic worship that's coming up and coming out. You know, you need to understand this is live, spontaneous, uncut and raw prophetic worship happening in a revival in a bar on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I believe that this record is going to provoke the church to know that there's more out there. God is moving in the harvest fields and He's using worship to call people into His presence to have an encounter with Him. This record is about what Jesus is doing in a bar on Bourbon Street. It's a, it's a new day in the church. This is the sound of awakening, the sound of real revival, not just for the church to be revived, but for the lost to come to know Him. It's a sound for the harvest that Jesus is bringing in to His church. And that's what we call the record, Jesus in a bar. Jesus is in a bar. He's come in a dark place that many people never thought they'd find him. These people that are walking down Bourbon Street and coming to this bar, they're not expecting to find God has set up a table for them to come and eat. That he's not angry with them, he just wants to be with them. And he's calling them in by the sweetness of his presence through worship. So Jesus in a bar is a sound, it's a song. Uh, being released here in a dark place as a sign that no place is safe from the presence of God. No place is safe from the presence of God.